Well, hello yet again. Hey, buddy. I'm just getting back from an awesome coastal backpacking experience. Buddy Doug and I drove far up north and uh, hiked the Lake Superior Coastal Trail. That's what this video is all about. This is the full trip video. But first, I want to give a huge shout out to my sponsor, Audible. Thank you once again, Audible, for sponsoring my video. I really wanted to download something that got us like hyped up for the hike, right? So I, uh, I downloaded a book called Hiking Through. It's about a gentleman who hikes the Appalachian Trail after his wife dies of breast cancer. He um, feels like this calling, you know, he's something he's wanted to do with his, his whole life and he's never been able to do it or whatever. So he goes and kind of cleans his, uh, cures his soul and stuff after. Uh, what is it, over 2,000 uh, miles he hikes, takes him over four months or something, he quits his job, just really, really crazy, but um, very inspiring book, and it definitely got us both in the hiking mood, you know? <laughs> the guy who actually did the hike and wrote the book, his name is Paul Stutzman, and it's narrated by a guy named Mike Chamberlain. And I already know what I'm going to download for my next book. They just released Alien Covenant, uh, you know, the movie that just came out. Well, they have the full novelization of it uh, on Audible, and uh, I checked it out. It looks really cool from the synopsis. Finding something that I'm really interested in, something that I've downloaded myself to my own phone, um, it's going to keep my attention, you know what I mean? It's not going to be like just scanning the... Hey, big guy. Scanning the uh, radio stations to find something that's not too staticky. Another really cool thing about Audible is that once you download the books, they're yours to keep uh, forever, regardless if you continue with the service or not. Nobody can take that away from you. You can do uh, Android, iPhone, but you can also do like a tablet or iPad, iPod. You can even get it on your computer if you want. It's actually run through Amazon, so there's no like concern of safety. Uh, it's super quick, convenient, easy. If hiking or the movie Aliens isn't your thing, uh, you definitely don't need to download those books, right? They have everything. They have a uh, huge selection, everything from comedy, um, mystery, sports, thriller, horror, real life stories. Uh, I even downloaded stuff for Emerald on, on a past uh, car trip. So they got something for the whole family there. So Audible has been nice enough to offer you guys, my viewers, a free book. So all you got to do is go to audible.com slash robinette. That's your promo code. Check it out. Get your free book. Um, and let me know what you think about it. Thank you one, one more time, Audible, for sponsoring this video. I really appreciate it. On to the trip video. I hope you guys enjoy it. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. We're here. We've arrived at the Coastal Trail. The Coastal Trail uh, runs along the shore of Lake Superior. Yep. We're gonna be do we're gonna be doing 65 kilometers, which oh man, <laughs> which will take us hopefully three nights. That's what we've planned for. I think we can do it three nights, four days. Uh, yeah, beautiful day. Black flies, mosquitoes, just out. Not too bad at all. Um, looking forward to getting this hike underway. We just stopped at a, a campsite along. <laughs> the, the first stretch of it, we're hiking south, we saw this campsite, we saw this driftwood bench, we thought, let's cop a squat and do an intro. So, I'm going to end this now so that I can throw rocks at Doug. Stay along with us, stay along with us, I'm sure you'll enjoy the banter. Come along. Come along, end the video. Join us, won't you? Yeah. Giddy up. Alright, that was something. First hill. Hard to see in the camera, but it just drops off right here. Got my one hiking pole on the side where the cliff is. My camera in the other hand. Oh man. Ooh. Check out this view. We made it to the top of a little lookout. Very scenic. There's a bunch of islands there behind me you can see. Real beauty. Doug's pointing so you can see. Through my ear. You can see through right through my ear. Hello! So Lake Superior is the largest of the Great Lakes and the largest mass, not volume. So there are lakes deeper probably. But not bigger. But not bigger. Okay, let's go. Be nice and cold.
we're just coming up to another clearing here. Pretty sweet lookout. Man, this is even nicer than the other one. Look at it. Yeah, they are. They can smell me. Oh, Joe. We notice you here. Let me get a little bite of that blood. Let me get a little taste of that blood. <laughs> Pretty wild, eh? It is. Man, this is nuts. So we know we're going the right way. Here we see Doug in his natural habitat. Doug opted for hiking boots. He's got some vast hiking boots. So we'll see, everything's fine so far, but uh, yeah, I normally do like hiking in trail runners a lot because of the, the lightweightness of it and the quick drying, but my feet are still dry. Wow, I think he's honestly doing this on purpose because I'm filming. Look at that. There's no need for that. What is the purpose of that? It's only been a few hours. I'm not even focus. I'm not even frocus. That was a weight? No, no, it'll put the slip up there. There we go. Oh, he's going to do it again because it was out of focus. Here you go. All right. Ooh, it's a little bouldery. I feel like we're on our way to Mordor. Might be hard to see, but there's an enormous pink rock under the water. <laughs> Pretty cool, huh? Hey? Super cool. So we're up into the forest a little bit now. Big different, uh, big change than the coast. We're not boulder hopping, but we're getting to see all this really cool moss. Nice in here. Very nice. Lunch time? Sea glass. Ooh, Sophie. Sophie. Well, oh, I'm out of frame. Out of frame. We are uh, we're posted up here at a little campsite. The lake is right there. I'll take you out and show you in a minute. I need to get some water. Uh, putting some good distance in. It's time for lunch. We need to refuel and keep on the food. I can feel myself crashing already. So I got for lunch the old wrap like normal. I got Genoa or Genoa, depending I guess, salami in there and Colby Jack. Well, Colby Jack cheese. This is pretty good with some water. Mmm. Huge mustard. So this would be an awesome campsite to stay at. You can see behind me, there's some level ground. Doug's going to show us his moment look like, but when you come out, it just opens up completely. We're in this little protected bay. I assume the sunsets here would be phenomenal. The water is so clear and cold. It's like a, it's like it's a great lake or something. What you making for lunch, Dougie? I got wraps and some fandangled salami and fancy cheese. Munster. I got my old chest mount on. I'm going to be putting my GoPro on there, try to make up some miles. And I believe it could rain any minute here. So, um, yeah, everything's packed away in the backpack and I'm ready to go. Just waiting on old man Doug. Old man Doug. Did you lose your marbles, Doug? I lost me marbles. It's kind of cool. It's pretty, too. <laughs> this is our hiking trail. Nice and bouldery. Granite running down the middle. Pretty nifty. Another one.
Well, the sun has come out and it sure makes a difference, guys. The temperature is skyrocketing now. Just been out on this boulder field or whatever you want to call it. Rocks for a good amount of time now. Jumping from one to the other, all nimbly bimbly. Ridiculous, just a bit, just a touch. <laughs> it's gorgeous. Ugh, just a little shale. Oh wow! I don't know either. That's different. So the trail keeps switching back and forth from the coast to in the forest. Probably already said that, but now we are back in the forest proper. Just st stop and take a water break. We're gonna try and hike it haul it for about an hour without stopping see where that puts us and two seconds after I just said that we're back out onto the coast Ugh. that's kind of cool hunker down in there Well, it's been an hour. We actually did end up stopping one time just to take a drink, but been going pretty good since then. Got a little runoff here. Just dunk my little footsies in the water, taking a cue from old Dougie. Felt pretty good. We uh getting some clouds there. That way. And that way. Pretty much that whole general area over there. <laughs> oh Pierce. What happened, Doug? In the puddle? <laughs> well, what the heck is this nonsense we just found? A little shelter? A little shelter of sorts? That's strange. Look at this. Oh. You just can't get away from them bushcrafters. Those darn bushcrafters. Bushcrafters everywhere you look. <sighs> Ruining the forest. It's five o'clock now. We've been walking since nine in the morning. We put our eight hour day in. And we're coming out into this nice Kobe deal with actual sand. Look at this. Oh my goodness. Sand. Look at the yellow water. What is this pollen? It's all pollen all the time. Look at the pollen in the waters. Lots of the pollens. Like Miss, it does look like chicken noodle, Mr. Noodle. Or ramen for the lay people. Well, bugs are coming out. We're done for the day. It's after 5 now, almost 5.30. Uh, the last time I talked to you, we thought we were going to continue on for a little bit. We walked up through the cove and found a few more sites. I said, just screw it, let's just stay here, man. We walked over eight hours today. So it's a grueling trail. I'm beat. I think Doug's beat too. I don't want to talk for him, but I think so. <sighs> Stop and the bugs come out. It never rained really bad. It drizzled a few times today. But uh, the temperatures overall has been perfect. Can't complain about it at all. So uh, we're going to get it set up here, I think. Just relax for a little bit. Might, might get my tent set up so I can relax inside my tent so I'm not getting eaten alive. You like that little, what is going on with this? Anyways, get camp ball set up and uh, dry out my feet. I, I, can't, I managed to keep my feet dry for like 
three quarters of the day and there's just a couple stream crossings that I couldn't circumvent and said screw it so no big deal I expected my feet to be wet from five minutes in so uh, actually pleasantly surprised so my big Agnes tent if you want to see a full gear list of what I brought and why I brought it I'll link a video that I did previously before I came on this trip goes over all my stuff all right so basically I have my my big Agnes Fly Creek UL1 I've got my poles and my pegs in here be super easy and quick to set this up and I gotta dry out my feet seize my feet seize Okay, brief intermission. I need bug spray. The bugs is getting bad. Uh, uh, uh. The fly is super easy to put on. It just connects with these clips, which I really like. And then you peg it out. It's good to go. If you guys remember, or if you saw my five-day solo canoe trip video, you remember I had that marmot sleeping bag which was no good turned out to be garbage so this is my replacement this is a phantom spark negative 2 celsius or 28 fahrenheit by mountain hardware this thing's tiny guys real small so this will be the first time using it it's not going to get down anywhere near negative 2 but it's so small you know what i mean it's the size of a summer bag anyway so and it's red it's pretty red <laughs> Along with all of my gear for some reason. It's like my least favorite color. So knowing that I got my, my feet wet at the end of the day here, I know I need to dry them out. So these are my socks. My um these are darn tough socks. They're ankle socks. But like you gotta get rid of all that dank. I'm just gonna wring them out, hang them up, and uh Maybe if we have a fire later on, I'm sure we will have a fire later on, try and dry them by the fire. A little bit, without burning holes in them, you know? It's never fun when you do that. <laughs> Excuse me. Sand like crazy, too, in my shoes and socks. So that's, you got to be careful with that. Try and clean it all out because it will start to give you blisters when rubbing on, on the uh, sand. So Doug, you've had a lot of twig stoves in your day. What do you think? Uh, what do you think the bush buddy is the best, or your favorite at least? I've had that stove for about seven years. Would I be using it if I didn't like it? Okay, that's the end of that. I said I told the story in my video. Doug outside. Doug outside. <laughs> that uh, I talked to that uh, construction guy. I went up to him all sheepishly about. Uh, his saw, he had a worm drive saw with the motor on the back, the big, the bullyful strong saw. So I said, how do you like that saw? I was a little kid walking up to him and he said, when I have the blankety blank thing in my hand, I didn't like it. And I bowed my head and walked away. And he thought that that was a good role model or example to act that way. For you? When people start to try to ask you things, legitimate questions, try to help, help other people, you know. You know? Okay, you can shut up. <laughs> I think I need to know one. Doug outside. Doug outside. Perfect, you should. So I have almost got a boil as well. Oh, I'll pass my camera. Oh, I have almost got a boil as well. I'm going to do well. as well. I'm going to do dehydrated spaghetti tonight. One of my faves. Ba bam. My paschetti is done. Looking real good. Nice and steamy. And I'm going to put some cheese in it, knowing all too well that it's just going to stick to the sides and it's going to be super hard to clean. But I'm going to need some cheese, yo, you know? A little cheese in my life. Some Colby Jack. Semi-soft. 
Oh, snap. Melt Ender. Melt Ender. And she's gone. Doug's going to be documenting this trip as well. He has a YouTube channel called Doug Outside. That's what he was alluding to a couple minutes ago. So go check that out too. What are you doing? You don't shut your mouth when you too. How long have you camped with you? How many times have we camped together? How many watch, 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 How many videos? Watch, watch, okay, watch. I'm watching. Oh. So in our planning for this trip, we decided Doug would bring a mini hatchet and I'll bring a saw. And then that way they complement each other well. If he needs to use one, he can. If I need to use one, I can. Or if I get some wood that needs to be split, I'm going to split it with the axe, obviously. So right now we're just uh, scrounging kind of for, uh, for wood. There's not much available, but that's okay. What? Have you seen the toilet? <laughs> I have not. Come here, bring. Come. Oh, I will come. Let's go see this toilet. Come. <laughs> Seems excited. <laughs> We're gonna see the toilet guys. Are you, you ready for this? Go, go. Oh. Let's go, let's go. Never seen anything like it. What do we have? Oh my goodness. Look at this thing. Wow. They must have brought this in on the boat. Well they had to. They had to. Oh, what do you think they did? Oh donkey of the back, day. Back? Donkey of the day, Joe. Look at this. Oh man, my throne. Oh, vent ventilation tube. Thinking of combustibles. That's pretty cool, man. Oh yeah, look at the tank on this thing. Take a morning deuce in that one. It's got a trap door. Let's open it. Let's open it. <laughs> Why did we open it? <laughs> what kind of tent do you got there, Dougie? This is the well, there's a full video on my gear on uh, it. Doug outside. <laughs> MSR Hubba NX. That's a one man. Very much one man. Yeah. Keep that in mind. I like <laughs> I like the side vestibule as opposed to my front vestibule. Yeah, I do too. It's got just enough room for your backpack. But look how much little room there is in here. Yeah, it's like, that's your pad. That's, that's the same as mine. That's it. The show. That's all I need. My home away from home. I see you got your uh, little Survivor Man Les Stroud bandana on. Uh, Les Stroud does not own the bandana. <laughs> Drops the mic and walks away. Oh, we found a frisbee. We found a frisbee. Whee! This is left handed now. It's a Lake Superior frisbee. Check this out, you can see the streams of rain coming down. There, there's a big one, like walls almost. <laughs> Caribou! So I think what we're gonna do now, we're gonna be losing light soon. It's so nice out here, man. Look at this place. Look how scenic is this? The greatest of the Great Lakes. Lac Superior. Superior. Look at this. Man, this is a really cool spot. Really cool place. I think what we're going to do now is uh, get a little fire going. We've been chopping up wood in the. Oh, Doug sounds like his poo was uh, <laughs> a great success. So we cut up a bunch of firewood. Let's get that bad boy rocking. I have made a fire of birch bark and a lighter and mosquitoes. Lighter? What, what, what? Oh, who's interested in a frickin' rabbit now, Doug? Ooh, thought it was a moose! Thought it was a moose! 
Well, we got some cool colors out here. It is like 9.30, believe it or not, and we're still this light out. A little bit of pinks in the sky. Pretty nice. Oh, Dougie. Bending over. <laughs> Too late, bud. Yeah, it's really nice, man. Really, really nice night. Ooh, that fire looks warm and comforting. <laughs> Look at that fire. All right, guys, I think we're heading in. It's almost 10 o'clock. Still some residual light out here, which is absolutely crazy. But uh, time for bed. Gonna get up early and hike. <laughs> hike and hike and hike for days. <laughs> for days. All right, guys, sweet dreams. I'll see you in the morning. You know they're not going to bed, eh? <laughs> they're watching the video. Right. You ruin everything. Hey, that's true. Yeah, it's very true. They're not going to bed. Maybe they are. Maybe they're watching at night. They're going to pause it and go to bed. Maybe they're used to putting you on at bedtime and falling asleep. I too. hear that quite a bit, actually. Yeah. For real. It happens to all of us. Mm -hmm. Doug, what's that? <laughs> oh, good morning. That was a great sleep. Sup, oh. <laughs> Sup great. I was up for like nine hours, so... Get up and make some breakfast. Break that fast. Look at my knees. Look how pointy they are. I'm a very skinny boy. Very skinny boy. 6.30 in the morning. Up. Up and eating. Up and drinking coffee for Mr. Doug. So, we'll probably not hang around here for too long. Get up and get an early start. Maybe hike till 5-ish again. Hopefully, put some miles down today. Getting the swing of things. So, yeah, looking forward to today. Yesterday was, yesterday was like a big blur to me. It was, uh, it was epic, but it was brutal too. And getting to the, when we got to this, this camp, I was completely done. But, yeah, I'm feeling very energized and raring to go. Raring to go. <laughs> We're not going to talk to each other after this trip. <laughs> Can't imagine life being Joe. Yep, you can't. Still haven't had to use my Powerade bottle to fill up water with because we've been so close to the water for the duration of the hike. But I will keep it in there just in case. These booties, these mech booties, the neoprene ones, serve their purpose for last night. I guess I'll just throw them in the side pocket here too. Might as well. That's about it. I have my food, like I was saying, for the day in this small possibles pouch, and that's going to go on the outside of my pack, on the top. Super easy act to access. And that's about it. I'm not going to wear my hat today. I ended up taking it off halfway through yesterday. It was just annoying. So we'll see. I am going to wear my sunglasses today because it's very bright out. It's supposed to be the sunniest day we have. So sunglasses are riding with me. I think I'm gonna put my DSLR in the backpack again today. Uh, if there's any scenic things I need to take pictures of or get in CRISPR video, I'll use this. But I'm just going to wear my chest mount for my GoPro for a while today. Make up some time. And we're off. Just a little bit before eight o'clock this morning. Let's see how far we get in what amount of time. Oh, she's bright. Now this is what the trail has been like for quite some time this morning. We're, uh, we haven't really seen the coast since we left uh, our campsite. But it's nice, it's nice in here. Quick walking, easy walking, making up some time for later on today when I'm sure we're gonna be boulder scrambling <laughs> or dying of exhaustion. Back onto the boulder fields, boys and girls. We were talking about how Amazing it is that your eyes can just scan these boulders and find the right one to step on as you are constantly moving. Danger Doug. Danger Doug. A 
don't know how well the GoPro is going to pick that up, but that is just gorgeous. Crystal, crystal clear water, crazy. Back into the woods. Lots more woods hiking today than yesterday. We are 90% on the coast yesterday. Say it one more time. <laughs> this is such a beautiful place. We've been able to see that island this whole time. We're just getting different views of it. Started looking at the butt end of it down there. Say it one more time, this place is just gorgeous, just beauty. So pretty. So pretty. Oh man. Making good time. Or not. Cold. Cold, cold. Look at the moss in here. Would you just look at it? Yeah. Find Orlando Bloom just hanging out in here. Leg listing it up. We're out at a big waterfall, as you can see. This is Orphan Lake River, maybe? At the Orphan Lake Trail. What's that? Pretty nice, pretty nice. So we're on a bridge right now over this big river. This um, this trail intersects a day use trail. It's the only time that it really touches another trail. So we're blessed with these awesome bridges going over a substantial river and waterfalls. Pretty nice in here, very nice. This is what I was talking about. We came from that way. It's a little backpacker dude. Coastal trail, Orphan Lake is just a hiking trail. Just walking along the beach here, and this mist has really come in within the last five minutes. It's like shrouding over all the trees. Very cool. Look at some of the formations and colorations on these rocks. And then it goes down into the water itself. And look at the just black. Yeah, and then black, yeah, as a contrast. Gorgeous. Like a, another whole other planet. The mist came in big time. We can't even see a couple hundred meters. Very cool place. Just gorgeous. Just gorgeous. It's just a gorgeous place. We've been climbing for quite some time now. Thought we've been at the top a couple times. But well, she just keeps going up. Up and up and up and up. And up. And up. And up. Yeah, she's beauty. And up, and up, and up. Oh man. Well, after that long, grueling hike up, we're finally at the top. You can see that fog way out there. Our view is just insane. Nothing compares to it, that's for sure. Not around here, at least. Nothing compares. Nothing compares to you. I pointed at you when I said that. We just stopped for a bite of lunch right on the coast. Nice and windy, so it's keeping the bugs down. And we're tucked into this little like rock overhang, so, so there's some shade. It's very windy today. I mean, sorry, it's very sunny today. Well, that was a nice, uh, much needed break and lunch. We're back on the trail now. It is just after 12 noon. Would you look at this terrain? Just look at it. Not 100% sure if we're on the trail right now, but can't find a trail in the woods. So the coast is the safe bet. We'll just link up with it again after. 
Oh shoot, there's a snake. It scared the crap out of me. Snakey, snakey. <laughs> Why can't I taste you? Why don't you taste like anything? <laughs> All right, go see Joe. Quite a bit of blowdown in this particular section of the trail. Very windy along the Superior Coast, as I'm sure you can imagine. Doug went back to get his camera. I'm going to try and scare him. Doug! Oh. Alright, not much longer, dude. It hurts. Ah. It's refreshing. It's refreshing and painful. <laughs> Just stopped for a uh, quick reset. I, I literally laid down on this rock and fell asleep for a couple minutes. I crashed hard, so I gotta get some food into me, some water, and uh, cool down a bit. We've been rock hopping on, not this really, but smaller rocks, and it's just killing our feet. So stepping into the water like that for a little while brings the swelling down and uh, cools us down. See a mist behind me? Can't see anywhere. The temperature's very, very nice. Can't complain. Better than walking on the rocks. Now well, we're on a proper sandy beach now. Killing the time. We already crushed our destination for today. So we're on to the next campsite. Oh man, we finally made it to our camp for the day. We walked for 10 hours straight today, but exhaustion. <laughs> My body feels fine, um, but just, just done for the day, exhausted. So there's some other people camped along the beach too. But we made fantastic time today. We, we um, earlier on in the day, we were like boulder hopping and going up, you saw, up the big crazy hills and mountains and everything, which really ate, ate the time, took a long time to do. But then we got on this long stretch of sand and uh, we actually passed where we wanted to camp, blew past where we wanted to camp, uh, or where we consider camping. So when we saw that on the map, when we realized, we were like, very happy. Yep, just like that. <laughs> so we got here uh, like five minutes ago. It's time to cook up some food. It's 6.13 right now. I'm starving. I'm going to eat rice. I've never seen Joe eat so much food in my life today. You're being serious. I'm being dead serious. He ate more food than I did. Usually I make fun of him for his mouse, mouse eating habits. <laughs> He's going to be a big boy. Big boy. He's a big boy now. <laughs> food. Give me my food, give me my food. I want to eat my food right now. No bush buddy. That's it. Food and bush buddy. No! Just doing rice today. My guts have been acting up. I'm getting too much protein, so this rice is going to go down well. Bung me up a little bit. <laughs> you You don't watch my videos? No, I don't actually. <laughs> oh, piss. Hell no. I get enough of you in person, man.
Are you aware of them? Or do go outside? <laughs> so sleeping bag is a little damp from condensation and a whole lot of sweat last night. So I want to hang it up for a little bit beforehand uh, so it can dry out, obviously. And there's a sign here in front of our camp that just says it's the coastal trail. I've already got my socks hanging on it. I'm going to hang up this red beast over there. A little beaver action in Lake Superior. There he goes. Going to get some firewood and try and see if I can get some driftwood along the beach here because there's mostly, as you can see, just spruce as far as the eye can see. But there's some good driftwood here. Bam! Look at that. Fancy pants. It's nice and dense too. This is an old birch. So actually, I can get the uh, the bark off to start it with too. Off the same dead tree. Oh, there's a pile of wood. It's okay for tonight. A lot of uh, driftwood pieces and then some crappy stuff from the bush. But uh, should be good enough. So everything's dried out now. My sleeping pad, my sleeping bag, and my tent. So I'm just going to roll this back and put my stuff in my tent. Just like that, you know? Keep it nice and closed up. No black flies or mosquitoes get in. Don't want that black fly fever, you know? Oh, I can hear a loon. I love that sound. There's one way out there. I can't see the other ones. Good job, Doug. There we go. No. I can't believe the weather we've had this whole trip, man. The phenomenal. I added uh, rain pants to my gear <laughs> because they call for rain every day. Yeah. At the last minute. Uh, that's something. Yeah. I didn't end up bringing mine, but definitely brought my my rain jacket. Yeah, it's been like very comfortable during the day. Right now it's perfect. There's no wind either, which is awesome. And we're on Lake Superior. This could be like horrible. Some of those those rocks we were walking on today could have been treacherous, man. Like if there was some smokes going to my eyes, that's why I'm all blinky. But uh, yeah, it could have been very slippery, very, very rough walking, but it wasn't. It was beautiful. Just beauty. This has been the already the most difficult uh, strenuous backpacking trip that I've ever done, any trail that I've ever done, I think you were saying easily, easily. easily. And Doug's done a little bit um, more strenuous than I have. He's done to, uh, Killarney, the LaCloche uh, Silhouette Trail a couple times. Three. There you go, a couple three. Um, I've, I've done Algonquin, Dolly Sods, Michigan, stuff like that. Um, but this is just on a whole other level. I would put this at like an advanced level uh, trail for sure. But yeah it's it's rewarding as well it's been extremely scenic it's been tough so like at the end of the day we feel like we've done something um yeah crazy good trip already and only only the second night so 
We have still a full day tomorrow, a night tomorrow, and then, uh, yeah, half the next day or a few hours the next day at least. So, pretty cool. Pretty smoky. Very smoky. Very smoky. We're just sitting here at the edge of the shore watching the sunset. It's quite relaxing. It's much needed after the, uh, the day we had. We're going to sit here until that thing goes down. We're hoping that the sky gets painted red, which probably will happen. Alright guys, well, we spent a really nice night here at our campsite. It's actually what I really wanted all day long, just to kind of relax, sit by the fire, and cut the sunset out on the beach. We ended up sitting out there for quite some time. Very relaxing. This is a rewarding kind of feeling, a rewarding kind of end to a very grueling day. So, tomorrow we get up early, hit the trail, and it'll be the same thing again. I think we're going to turn in pretty soon. So, good night, guys. Thanks. Good morning. I'm hungry. Time for breakfast. Oh, my knees. Okay, so this morning, uh, I'm super hungry and my knees feel like somebody has taken a knife and jabbed them repeatedly, like that. But I'm going to, I have this much peanuts and M&Ms left, <laughs> ballin! So I think I'm going to uh, put those in my, in my oatmeal this morning. I'm going to actually just put my oatmeal in the bag that I have my <sighs> and M&Ms. Not M&M's. Did I say M&M's? I meant raisins. But I'm gonna... Ah! Fire hot. So, yeah, last night was a great sleep. I, um... I got up a few times to pee as normal. And the sky was completely lit up with stars out here, like... Bright. Bright with stars. Very cool. Very scenic. Very not buggy because it was nighttime. Actually the bugs haven't been bad at all, really. Some black flies here and there are swarming and I thought for a minute yesterday it was gonna get bad, but then it's like no. No. It's okay. It's okay so night. Um okay, so I'm gonna boil this up and eat this up. There doesn't that look appetizing? Breakfast of champions right there. Mmm. Right in the Ziploc bag works fine. The only problem is if you have a spork you might poker. Might poke her a bit, but that's all right. This guy. Mmm. For breakfast today. Peanuts. I'm eating oatmeal. So I've already got the fly in there, in the stuff sack. Tiny, right? And it doesn't even add much more when I add the actual tent in. Super quick, easy to pack as well. So that's the tent. And you just mash her down. You just mash her. to take the top and just tie it around the uh, <clears throat> there's a little handle on the bottom and then that way it keeps its shape it stays small inside your pack always I don't know man I think the whole thing with the, with the pegs or, and the uh, poles weighs two pounds or something like that now I'm super happy to see that this is my food bag now We've got one more full day food is probably one of the lighter things in my pack now I do have a hefty food uh, lunch, ba lunch bag for today, but together that's my food, and this will be gone 100% today. That will be my food. 
left. So packing becomes a little bit different now, whereas this used to be one of the heaviest thing and it had to go in a certain spot, like middle, close to my back. Pack a little bit differently today. And with my DSLR in my hand, my pack is going to be quite light, probably 18-ish, 18-ish pounds. Been wearing our neoprene socks at camp for footwear, protection from bugs, staying a little bit warm at camp. And last night, even though I hiked all day in these and they were soaking wet, hung them up for a little bit in the sun, and then when we were sitting by the fire, I had them in my pockets, and the fire and my body heat dried them out. They're like 95% 95% dry, which I'm very happy about, as well as my shoes. I didn't put my shoes in my pockets, but they are a little dry as well. So feeling pretty good already on the foot front this morning. The bugs are coming out in full force, so I'd like to get going pretty soon. Get a, no, well, it's 8.45, so it's not like it's early or anything like that, but uh, we don't need to really cruise today, like I was saying. But just a little point of reference here uh, for us and you guys. We, uh, we drove up Highway 17. We got a shuttle, which is like a, a truck, a pickup truck, to drive us down Gargantois Road. So Gargantois Road is here off of Highway 17. That is the Trans-Canada Highway. All the way down there, and we got dropped off uh, right around there where the P is. The first day, we got from Bergentois to Beatty Cove, so there to there the first day. Yesterday, and that was eight hours. Yesterday, we went from uh, Beatty Cove all the way past Orphan Lake. That was that side trail that I talked about a little bit. Bald Head blew past our original thought of camping at Robertson Cove. Absolutely just decimated that. Past, we know we passed the first one, Robertson. Yeah, we cruised. Past Catherine, past Sand way down to the second campsite here. So day two, a 10 hour day, we did this. Day one was this, eight hours. So like I said, we're here at the second campsite. Today I believe we're going to walk down. There's some uh, pictographs around here, some uh, native pictographs, which will be really cool to get on film. We don't have too much of a hectic day today, like I said, go down, camp probably at the last campsite we can find, and then the very last day, which will be tomorrow morning, we only have to go down to the visitor center. So that's not a bad day at all, and that's what we want because we have a big, long drive to get home. So right now, uh, second campsite, we just got to find the trail again and hike on. Giddy up. Giddy up. Oh, yeah. She's tender up there. Pack's nice and light. Feels great. Actually, the pack's been riding fantastic. It's just up my collarbone here because I'm so skinny it kind of digs in but not much you can do about that all right let's go oh you know what can't leave my camera behind Oh, I don't like holding this camera, man. Do not like it. This is beauty back in here, man. Super mossy. Been hiking for a few hours. Just stopped here um, behind this rock for some shade. I ended up uh, getting a little bit of a sunburn yesterday on my arms. I'm at the back of my neck, so. Made sure I put on sunscreen just now. Oh, the sun's come out. And uh, having some water. Just taking a nice snack break, you know? It's all, all the difference in the world when, you, when you're getting run down. You really need to, like, on these trips, like backpacking or long distance canoeing and stuff, when you're getting, like, uh, when you're bonking or when you're crashing, it's always good to stop and eat. It, it makes a world of difference, honestly, and drink something. Uh, you feel rejuvenated and ready to go again. Even if that's only for another couple hours, you just do it again. So that was our first real break right now today. Uh, next break, I'm sure, will be lunchtime. But that's not for some time. But, uh, just just beautiful. Look at this place, man. This Doug's food bag there. But There's a ton of yellow pollen all in the water and all over us from walking by. They're, these are alders. Look at that. You can see it. Got 
try to talk here, trying to film and freaking Doug. Just running his running his suck over there. Don't mind it at all. I don't know if you can hear him. Running his suck about a water filter. Oh, look at that hair. Look at that hair. I think I need to shave. Trim it up when I get home, what do you think? We are on this precarious ledge. This is a visitor center kind of thing, so there are little poles. They used to have a railing here, but to the best of my knowledge, it got ripped down from the ice and stuff. So now there's like just these ropes and a little bit of um, chains and stuff in case you take a tumble in. You can't even be up here when it's when it's wavy, when it's uh, windy and wavy. So, found our first set of pictographs. First set, I believe that was a the mythical, mythical creature. Yeah, the, the fish. So think about this, the ice and waves and weather ripped down a metal railing. And this has been here for how long? You know what I mean? Painted native. Crazy to think about. These are hundreds of years old and the metal, metal railing that was on there held, held up by posts like that can't even last. Just amazing. What do you think, Dougie? Pretty cool. Yeah, it is. Nice and cool in here. Oh man, this is sweet. We literally have to go through here for our trail. Wow. Man, this is nice. This is the trail. These caves. Nice and cool down in here. Very cool. In every sense of the word. Wow. This is something else, man. Well, that was pretty cool. So, I know, right? Yes, lunch time in here for sure. Nice and cool. Oh man! What's for lunch today, boys and girls? Oh, look, something new. The old flatbread salami dealio. Looking forward to this. Mm. And we're off. Back onto the trail again. This is a really scenic part of the trail. Very pretty. We are almost done, I believe, so I think we're calling it a day today. Hike to the car. This is nuts back in here. Wow. This is the trail. <laughs> Crazy. You on the right way, Joe? I think so. <laughs> My camera is not doing too good. Ah. 
lucky I'm skinny. <sighs> that was something. Put your backpack on that one. More. <laughs> this is something else. Oh, well, we're done going through cracks in the rocks, I think. Now we're just hiking up a big one. Oh man, that view. Just beauty. Just beauty. A little toasty. A little warm, a little sweaty. Oh, we have been climbing up and up and up this rock for quite some time, and look at our reward. Oh man, she opens up. Wow. Oh, we're backpacking now, boy. Holy. Look at that view. How is that for a view? Alrighty, so we just ran into a couple hikers. And they informed us that we're almost done. So instead of setting up camp one more night, we're just gonna book it out of here. I don't feel bad about it at all. Actually, I feel pretty accomplished uh, considering what we did in the short amount of time we did. Like Doug was saying earlier, um, you can hear the highway right there too, actually. We're almost right at it. Like Doug was saying earlier, the first day we thought we were behind, right? We didn't really know. We did the eight hours. And then the second day, we really booked it. Like we, we put the miles in in those 10 hours. But we came to that, um, that beach where we were able to put a few kilometers down uh, where it was just like hard packed sand like walking on a road almost so we really made up time there and then today like it's just flying by so we're gonna get out of here today go home to our families we got like a super big long drive anyway so yeah I'll, I'll ke ke catch back up with you near the end give a little uh, final thoughts thing but uh, I think that's it eh Dougie? You betcha Oh, look what we found. Great success. Uh, <laughs> we're done. We're at the car. That was a grueling last little bit. We really put the uh, the miles down there. Um, great trip. Great, uh, great scenery. Very rewarding. Very satisfying. Very rugged. So, thank you very much for watching, guys. Thanks, Dougie, for coming with me had a good time and uh, yeah if you want to do this trip get your butt into gear <laughs> don't just get off your couch and come out here this is an advanced trail so this is uh, by far the I think this is the top trail yeah yeah check it out guys awesome thank you very much for watching I'll see you on the next one soon take it easy later